Now I am. Okay, we got uh, chapter 10-6, uh, page 735, algebra 2. We're doing law of cosines. Uh, law of cosines. is where we have um, a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. Whereas a and little a, b and little b, c and little c are your, your angles and your sides. Okay? Um, so you can find this for any angle um, or any side. You can say B is equal to oh, sorry. Uh, B squared is equal to uh, A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine B. Right? And then what would the last one be? Oh, it's C squared. squared. Yeah. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. A squared plus B squared. Minus. 2AB. 2AB two 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 cosine C. Okay. Alright. So that's the first step. I don't even have B squared. Okay, now that's what we're supposed to use. Um, I'm going to show you how to manipulate this problem so that we can use um, a different formula to find the angle. Okay, it's the same formula, but we're going to manipulate the formula so we have another formula to find the angle. So we can find any side, right? Um, the other thing is, is we need to find the area of the triangle. Okay? Um, we're going to do use what's called Heron's law. And Heron's law is based on uh, uh, the, the, the parameter. Okay? So the perimeter is, um, of course, you add up all the sides, right? So um, S is equal to one half the perimeter. Okay. And so, in Heron's Law, um, the area is equal to the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. Area equals that? Okay. So, Heron's Law is... S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. Alright? Okay, so what we want to do is find the missing side. Right? We're also going to find the missing angle. Okay. Now I could use law of sines here if I had the side opposite to the angle that I had. So that's one, one, um, one thing you're going to learn the more you're using the law of sines. You'll realize, oh, why can't we just use the law of sines? We got an angle. Yeah, but you, to have the angle, to find, the other, to find another angle means you have to have the side opposite of that angle. Okay? So that's why we can't use the law of cosines, or law of sines. So we use the law of cosines, okay? So let's do this. In this case, we're going to rewrite the formula, because we're looking for little f, right? Because we have f. We have little h and we have little g. And I like to just plug those in so I can see them, you know, 
and make reference to them. So now I'm looking for little f. So that means f squared is equal to, and then you just go through it, g squared plus h squared minus 2gh cosine big F, right? No big deal. We got that. Okay. Now we plug in our numbers. But when we plug in our numbers, we can actually just say little f is equal to the square root of all these numbers, right? Might as well kill two birds with one stone, right? Okay. So, uh, little g. Little g is 18.5. Okay. And uh, that is squared. And then we have plus h, little h, so 14 squared. And then minus 2 gh cosine f. G, little g is uh, 18.5. Uh, h is 14. And cosine of F is 80 degrees. Okay? Alright, and then um, we just need to plug that in our calculator. That's the hard part. Now, I'm not going to uh, write down all the pieces to the calculator. Is that G squared? Because we have it in the notes. Um, and it just takes up a lot of time. Okay? So what's, what's the answer? The answer, well, that's what we're trying to, I want to make sure we can plug it in, right? So we say the square root, second x squared, which gives you the square root button. <laughs> that's a weird video. Oh. And of uh, the quantity, 18.5 squared plus 14 squared, oops, that's not squared, that's squared, plus 14 squared, end quantity, uh, minus 2, uh, we could do quantity, Minus 2 um, times 18.5 times 14 times cosine 80 in parentheses. And we get uh, 21.17, so 21.2. So the answer to all that is 21.2. So that means little f is 21.2. Good? Wow. All right. And, uh, and so it takes a lot to plug that in your calculator. So take that time to learn how to do your calculator, okay? Um, the next part to this is finding the angle. To find the angle, first I need to prove something to you. All right, losing, losing power. All right, we know that a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a, right? Yep. If we want to know the angle, then the easiest way is to solve for the angle, all right? So I'm going to subtract b squared and subtract c squared from both sides. And I get a squared minus b squared minus c squared, right, is equal to negative 2bc cosine a, right? And then I'm going to divide by negative 2bc. So I'll divide this by negative 2bc. And I get a squared minus b squared minus c squared divided by 2bc negative is equal to cosine of A, right? It's pretty simple so far, right? 
And then we'll do one more step here. We're going to say, well, that means that cosine inverse of a squared minus b squared minus c squared all over negative 2bc, well, that should be equal to a. And that is our formula. Okay? Now with that, we are able to do some things. So we have another formula here, right? Wait, were you supposed to write that one down? I would. It's like really important. A is equal to the cosine inverse, right? of the quantity a squared minus b squared minus c squared all over negative 2bc. Okay? That's going to help us uh, finding the angle. So that now I don't have to plug it in and try to move everything. I can actually just plug it in and plug it into my calculator and be done with it. Okay? So, now I have to choose what angle I want to choose. Do I want to find G or do I want to find H? Which one? I'll let you guys decide. G. G. Okay. So, uh, if I'm going to find G, then it'd be G, right? is equal to the cosine inverse of what? Would it be g squared? Little g squared, right? Minus h squared minus f squared, right? All over negative 2 hf, right? That's it. That's easy. I got that. Alright. So, then G is equal to the cosine inverse of little g, or 18.5 squared, minus h, 14 squared, minus f, 21.2 squared, uh, all over negative 2 times 14 times 21.2, right? And then when you plug that in your calculator, you got to be very careful. Remember, you have extra parentheses right here, okay? Just like you had them right here, right? So, Inverse cosine of 18.5 squared minus 14 squared minus 21.2 squared in parentheses divided by parentheses negative 2 times 14 mm. times 21.2 in parentheses. Pardon this interruption. Please excuse the middle school basketball players. Please excuse the middle school basketball players. Thank you. So we get G is equal to 58.8 and if that's true, we can plug it into the same function, right, to find h. Or we can do it easier. Who knows how to do it easier? You can find h easier for me than plugging it into this function. Uh, add 80 and 58.8 together and subtract that from 180. That's it. Keep it simple, right? Uh -huh. So they all... F plus G plus H equal 180. 41.2. Right? So then, um, so then, 
if I'm looking for H, it's going to equal 180 minus G, which is 58.8 plus F, which is 80. And so you've got uh, 138.8. So the 41.2? Yep. Fifty nine point two. I'm getting fifty nine point two for G. Let's redo G. Did I do that right? You got 59.2? Okay. Okay. This should be 59.2, which would make this 69.2. Is that right? Seventy nine. That'd be seventy nine point two, isn't it? And then seventy nine point two. What? So we gotta double check that math to make sure it comes out. Well, that's how long.